Objectives include overall structural differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Uh, if you look at prokaryotes and eukaryotes, um, chemically they are similar. When I say chemically they're similar, what does it mean? It means that the prokaryotes and eukaryotes both are made up of nucleic acids, they have proteins, they have carbohydrates. Uh, and even metabolically, they are similar. They produce, all of them uh, derive their energy by ADP synthesis. So what are those structural differences? That despite that they are chemically same, uh, what are those structural differences by which we can differentiate between prokaryotes and eukaryotes? As you can see here, that if you look at the cells of a prokaryote and a eukaryote, you could see that they differ. Um, for example, this nucleus is not very defined in prokaryotes as it is in the eukaryote. The nucleus has a nuclear membrane here, and here it is called a nucleoid, just a, a space uh, that tells that this is most likely the um, space where the nucleus is. Similarly, uh, there are other differences, like this is a, a long thread which we call a flagella. And then there are differences in cell wall also. Um, other differences that we see is the presence and absence of organelle. Organelles are small organs. They're present in the eukaryotic cells, but they are not present in the prokaryotic. In prokaryotes, DNA is not enclosed, as we mentioned earlier, it's not enclosed in a nuclear membrane. And secondly, if you look at the chromosome, uh, it is mostly one chromosome, and that is also circular. Uh, thirdly, the DNA is not associated with um, histones. Histones we will see in, in eukaryotes, these are the proteins uh, that bind to DNA. So such proteins, are absent, uh, they're not present in prokaryotes. And also prokaryotes don't have any organelles. This is a cell of the prokaryote. Uh, you can see this part here is called a nucleoid and this houses nucleic acid or DNA. And this DNA threads, uh, basically it is a circular DNA. Um, then there are ribosomes, and ribosomes uh, present in both in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Their function is to synthesize proteins for the, the cell. And there are many other differences also. But when we will study the structures, uh, the anatomy of these cells, we will in detail then uh, study them. If you look at the cell wall of the prokaryotes, uh, it is composed of a substance called peptidoglycan. This peptidoglycan is a, is a complex of peptide means proteins, and glycan basically tells that it, is, it has glucose or carbohydrate, not glucose, carbohydrate, moiety, or part associated with uh, protein. And this peptidoglycan layer, it, it's a quite thick in one kind, specific kind of bacteria, what we call gram positive. These prokaryotes, they also have a difference in their cell division. They divide by simple binary fission. If we look at the, the uh, eukaryotic cells and compare it with the prokaryotes, uh, we see that the DNA is enclosed in a membrane. It's a very well-defined membrane that is not present as we saw in the uh, prokaryotes. And then DNA is found in multiple chromosomes. There in the prokaryotes, we saw that most of the time, there is only one chromosome. But in eukaryotic cells, there are multiple chromosomes. And also, the chromosome in bacteria was circular, covalently bound uh, circular DNA, but here they are linear, they're like thread, threads. Also, eukaryotic DNA is associated with histones. These are histones, and because DNA uh, is a huge molecule. 
in in eukaryotic cells uh, it has to be packaged uh, in some way and this these histone proteins uh, they're used for packaging of large molecules of uh, DNA in eukaryotes. Eukaryotes, some eukaryotes also have cell wall. As we saw in prokaryotes, the cell wall is composed of peptidoglycan. But if that cell, cell wall is present in eukaryotes, it is composed either of cellulose, like we see in plant cells, and chitin. Uh, chitin cell wall is present in fungi or fungi. Eukaryotes, they also have organelles. Organelles basically is a small organ. And examples of these organelles include mitochondria, and this is also um, another organelle called endoplasmic reticulum. And uh, there are two kinds, rough endoplasmic reticulum, and there's a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, there's a, another one here, uh, although not depicted here, but it's called lysosome. So, and also Golgi apparatus uh, here, Golgi apparatus. Also, eukaryotes, they divide by a special process, what we call mitosis. So in prokaryotes, the cell division was simple binary fission, but in eukaryotes, it's a process, very lengthy process uh, in some of the cells, and is called mitosis, where the cell basically multiplies its DNA and then uh, DNA chromosomes aligned uh, onto the equatorial plates and then they, they get separated into two cells. So in summary, uh, there are differences in the cell wall. In prokaryotes, it's piped peptidoglycan. In eukaryotes, it is either cellulose or chitin. And the nucleus is very well defined in eukaryotes. It's not very defined and does not have any membrane in the prokaryotes. Chromosomes are mostly circular in prokaryotes. They're linear and multiple in eukaryotes. And organelles are only present in eukaryotic cells. And the cell division is mitosis in eukaryotes and simple binary fission in prokaryotes.